In June of 2014, five LEAF ambassadors embarked on a journey to Costa Rica. Our mission was to explore the work LEAF International and Proyecto Hirondai are doing to preserve powerful expressions of culture within the Bribri and Nabe First Nations. Our travels guided us into the heart of the Bribri and Nabe tribes, where we would come to experience the incredible wealth of music, art, and culture these indigenous communities live every day. Together with Proyecto Hirondai, LEAF International is assisting in developing support systems that provide resources, technology, and new opportunities for these First Nations to continue to adapt and thrive. But what we discovered amongst these amazing people would come to change our lives forever. This is where our journey begins. Pero sí me ha enseñado otra mentalidad diferente. Me ha enseñado que yo valgo por lo que yo hago en sentido de obra creativa. Esta es una obra educativa y es una obra que para mí lo considero muy importante para enseñar a la juventud que son ignorantes de la propia cultura. Entonces yo con esto trato lo posible de difundir el mensaje positivo tanto en la música, tanto en la pintura, tanto en letra, tanto como en medicinas porque eso es lo que aprendí de mi madre. Sí, hago tambores, soy artesano, trabajo en madera, trabajo en coco, trabajo en, en jícaras, trabajo en... Principalmente hacemos tambores porque eso de, con eso trabajamos y, y, y nos gusta hacer mucho. Sí, somos artesanos y los niños están aprendiendo igual todo lo que, lo que conocemos, los grandes les estamos tratando de When we lose biodiversity, our planet threatens their balance. When a language, a word, a unique idea disappears, we lose chances of success as a species. We lose memory of words that we really need to heal and understand. Cultural diversity allows us to look at the same problem from different points of view, from different visions of our world. That's why we started using art and technology to tell people about the importance of preserving this heritage. Part of Rising Appalachia's mission through, through art and music and, and education has been studying global folk music, roots music, and cultural preservation through that. So we were able to link up with Leaf International this year and take a trip through the southern First Nations territory of Costa Rica. We arrived at the gates of, of the Bribri homeland and they welcomed us in in a, in a very, have a very beautiful, high, very high-tech space. You know, they're, they're living in, in both a traditional way of life and a farming way of life and also with a pretty modern relationship with technology. And Proyecto Herundai, um, in partnership with with Leaf International is doing recording work and preservation work, trying to capture a lot of the dialogue and a lot of the dialect that's come out of these ancient singing traditions. There are hundreds, maybe thousands of words that are no longer whispered to the ears of the newborns. Knowledge that is not reaching to the next generation. We share with Leaf this vision of music, dance, or art in general as a powerful tool to renew interests of kids in their own identities. 
Hirondai Project is a music band for the voices of several leaders who are also teaching artists in their communities, but it's also a research initiative for bringing back to the community soul recordings, also an experience of uh, learning and proposing tools for creative people. We are lucky of not being sure of what Hirondai exactly is, because this keeps us all the time searching. We started with the idea of a studio album, but we were lucky and we found a living tradition full of songs and singers. Uh, every plant, every living being or every stone has got a, like a keeper and then he's got to refer to every, every plant's keeper. It's like a spirit that is a keeper of that particular plant or that particular animal. So that's, that's why they sing. It's a, a common language with nature. Uh, they, they use this very ancient songs that, like uh, we were telling last night that that's, that's not ordinary language. That's not everyday, everyday, uh, every, everyday's language. That's an, an ancient language that only shamans and uh, people that work in funerals and keepers of sacred songs, they, they are the, the, the only ones that they know how to sing in that language. And that's a very private language because they cannot sing it under the sun or during the day. They have to wait for, for, for the night. Or the dark. Where do I live? So close. So close. lo aprendo o lo aprendí primero que todo con mis padres en la casa desde pequeño nos enseñan nuestras tradiciones nuestro hablar nuestras costumbres y después cuando me hice grande ya, cuando ya llegué mayor aprendía solo buscabas a los a las personas mayores que conocen mucho de la cultura y me interesaba mucho y me, me motivaba mucho me llamaba mucho la atención aunque aunque desde ese tiempo muchas veces el hablar o el creer nuestra tradición las demás gente se burlaban mucho de uno ya no había solamente somos dos personas uno es este este, él se llama Justo Avelino. Él es, él es el agua y el, el, el que aprendió joven, que no, no tuvo miedo en aprender lo nuestro. Y, y esas personas, bueno, él es uno de los valientes, ¿verdad? Porque an, al, a, el que, la persona que aprendía 
nuestras costumbres, tradiciones, otros bribris, otros se reían de ellos. Pero nosotros no, nos, no, no tuvimos vergüenza en aprender lo que es nosotros, porque es de nosotros y aprendimos mucho y ahí este, aprendimos que, que la vergüenza por lo que es nuestro no había que, no había que aceptarlo. Y también podemos trabajar con la comunidad de drummers. Y hay un amazing, amazing teacher llamado Jairo who lives down in the community and who years ago decided to, that he wanted to study the traditional drumming and it was down to maybe one or two elders that were teaching. So when we arrived, Jairo and his drum students met us and he now has 10, 20 students and his teacher now has 10 to 20 students. So he was able to show us that this, this tradition went all the way down to a few people left that were holding it and then in the last several years has, it, has really, really grown exponentially and there is a pride and, and an education in the process. And I think that the most amazing part of that is recognizing that the memory bank and the, and the preservation is, is being carried through the power of the arts, you know, it is actually the, the tradition around around culture, around art, around music that is holding these memories for generations and generations. Our peoples are people who sing for newly born children, for daily work, to communicate with the ancestors, to speak with the spirits of plants and to heal. Songs are everywhere. Those voices were almost never heard. That's why we started here. But it doesn't mean it's our only goal. Me, me siento muy contento, muy honrado, muy privilegiado porque como le dije este es un proyecto que para muchos no valía o no tiene sentido. Primeramente porque no está patrocinado por el gobierno, no es una institución del gobierno, sino es una institución creada directamente de aquí para afuera. Porque creemos de que nosotros también podemos este, dirigir un proyecto. Y, pero como no es un proyecto del gobierno, entonces se ha hecho sordos. Pero cuando se encuentra un amigo como la empresa LIF Internacional, yo me siento muy contento porque yo sé que son gentes que vienen a apoyar esta iniciativa, que es algo que yo quisiera y que no solamente me apoyes a mí aquí, sino en los cinco territorios o hasta más allá. Porque en cada... share more than a vision with live. The enthusiasm for building bridges to the new generations and these young guys that will be proud of their roots. And they will grow up with a self-esteem based upon love and respect for the legacy of their ancestors. And now they will create new ways of telling their world. Now with live, we find a way to communicate with more people. It is exciting to recognize the efforts that many people make around the world to reach children with the memory of their people through art. This creative network facilitates the exchange of many experiences. We hope we can soon produce tracks, albums and concerts together in different places and why not start in Central America building a world music network that allows us to celebrate the unity of our diversity. Amigos, <laughs> 